From the vast fields of Idaho, Washington, Wisconsin, North Dakota, and Oregon, where millions of tons of high-quality potatoes are produced each year to meet domestic and international demand. One of the most important agricultural industries in the United States is potato farming and harvesting. Potatoes may seem humble and simple on the outside, but they hold immense value. Each potato is not just a gift from nature, but also the result of relentless human effort. In 2023, the United States cultivated potatoes on approximately 1 million acres, yielding around 40 to million tons. Globally, potato production reached 359 million tons across 49 million acres. Forecasts predict that demand for potatoes will continue to surge, with global production potentially hitting 500 million tons by 2025 and climbing to 750 million tons by 2030. This presents a tremendous opportunity, but also poses significant challenges for farmers in improving varieties, boosting yields, and expanding cultivated land. Welcome to Radiant Farming, where we'll dive into the journey of growing, harvesting, and processing top quality potatoes in the U.S. Did you know that we Americans eat more potatoes than any other vegetable? Potatoes aren't just a daily staple, they're a symbol of resilience and innovation in agriculture. The potato industry not only drives the economy, but also delivers profound nutritional and cultural value to communities. It all starts with the soil. For a bountiful harvest, the soil must be loosened cleared of rocks, and adjusted to a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. Farmers create raised beds 8 to 12 inches high and spaced 24 to 31 inches apart to ensure proper drainage and support healthy tuber development. In spring, seed potatoes are planted. Each seed potato has several sprout eyes. Farmers cut the potatoes into pieces, with each piece containing two to three sprout eyes, from which the young plants will grow. Most of the potatoes are treated before planting. Potatoes grow underground, but they're not roots, they're tubers. Roots absorb nutrients from the soil. Tubers store those nutrients. That's why potatoes are plump and starchy. The layer of soil cover retains moisture, shields seed tubers from sunlight, and encourages deep root growth, laying a strong foundation for the potato plants from day one. Today, modern potato planters have revolutionized the process, automating seeding, fertilizing, and bed formation to save time and effort. These machines ensure precision across various soil types, enhancing both yield and quality. Potatoes need ample water, especially as tubers begin to form, but overwatering must be avoided to prevent rot and quality loss. Soon, tiny sprouts emerge, reaching for the sun. Then green leaves appear above ground, signaling that the potatoes below are thriving. After 8 to 12 weeks, the plants bloom a natural sign that the tubers are well developed and nearing harvest readiness. Farmers also monitor the beds, adding soil if needed. 
tubers too close to the surface during dry spells risk exposure as the soil cracks, turning them green and bitter under sunlight. Sunlight triggers the buildup of solanine, a chemical that can be deadly in large enough doses. So, if you spot green patches on a potato even if it's sprouting, where solanine peaks at the sprout bases just cut them away and you'll be fine. But farmers must stay vigilant against two enemies, a fungus called late blight, which caused the devastating Irish famine in the 1800s and the tiny leaf-feeding Colorado potato beetle. Left unchecked, these pests can destroy an entire crop in days. When the leaves turn brown and the potato skins thicken, it's harvest time. To prepare, farmers trim the potato vines. After cutting the stems and leaves, the tubers rest in the soil for a few more days. This toughens the skins, making them easier to harvest without damage and improving storage life. As harvest season arrives, fields buzz with the sound of machinery and the sight of harvesters gliding through rows. These machines gently dig and collect tubers, moving steadily to unearth fresh potatoes. Workers follow skillfully, inspecting and sorting potatoes on the spot in a lively, spirited atmosphere. The sight of neatly gathered potato rows paints a picture of abundance, bringing joy and high hopes for a productive yield. Potato harvesters are specialized machines that automate the process, ensuring efficiency and minimizing labor. Some feature digging systems reaching 10 to 12 inches deep, 60 inch wide conveyors to transport potatoes, and screening systems to remove soil, rocks, and debris. Capable of harvesting up to 2.47 acres per hour, they're ideal for large scale farms. Post-harvest, potatoes aren't used immediately they're stored for at least two weeks. Kept in cold warehouses with specialized ventilation, they're maintained at optimal temperature and humidity. Proper storage preserves quality for months, even up to a year before they're sent to processing plants or supermarkets. After storage, potatoes are taken to processing plants. At processing facilities, potatoes undergo rigorous inspection to remove damaged, diseased, or substandard tubers. Those that pass are sorted by size, weight, and color. This automated grading ensures potatoes meet strict standards for processing or export, upholding quality throughout the agricultural supply chain. Finally, 
They're packaged into branded bags, ready for sale. But over half the potatoes Americans eat are processed sliced into chips, cut into fries, or mashed into creamy goodness. Now, the part many of you have been waiting for, how those crispy potato chips are made. Ever wondered how this snack comes to life? First, potatoes are carefully selected, washed, and peeled by automated machines. These modern washers with stainless steel tanks, rotating brushes, and high pressure water jets efficiently remove dirt and thin peels. After washing and peeling, potatoes are sliced into desired shapes or thin rounds about 20 slices per inch, each just 50 thousandths of an inch thick. The slices are soaked in an antioxidant solution to remove excess starch, ensuring a golden color and perfect crispness when fried. Next, the slices are dried and fried in vegetable oil at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for about two minutes, achieving that ideal flavor and texture. After draining, they're scanned for dark spots and perfect chips are blown away with a precise air jet. Finally, they're seasoned, packed with a touch of nitrogen to remove oxygen, and sealed to stay crisp and flavorful, ready for you to enjoy. Can you imagine a machine handling 40 tons of potatoes in mere hours? From a tiny tuber underground, potatoes take a long journey to our tables a testament to farmers' hard work, meticulous storage, and cutting-edge processing tech. Next time you savor a bag of chips or a plate of fries, remember the story behind the fascinating journey from field to fork. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss our next exciting video. See you soon.